Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I wanna talk about how to make the most of your opportunity in blockchain. All right, so before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Click the like button down below. And if you wanna learn how to become a highly paid blockchain developer, you need to join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so today I wanna to talk about how to make the most of your opportunity in blockchain. And I actually just got back from TruffleCon where I was a speaker there to talk to a whole bunch of blockchain developers. And I basically wanna give you a recap of my talk at Truffle, okay? So uh, if you were there, you can you know rewatch this video. If you weren't there, uh, you'll get a sneak peek of basically what I talked about uh, to these other developers who are you know working in blockchain, trying to get into blockchain. So I hope you all enjoy this video. All right, so why are we having this conversation? Well, if you want to earn more money, if you want more people to listen to you, and you want to find more people who have you know, things in common as you, who like the same things that you do, then you might be able to fix that problem with marketing, all right? So most developers are bad at marketing, especially in blockchain. You know, I can say this because I sucked at marketing, uh, but then I, you know, decided to really focus on it and get better at it, and it's opened up a lot of opportunity for me, and I'm gonna try to help you find a way that it can, you know, open up opportunity for you too. All right. And I understand, you know, we didn't sign up to, to run ads. We signed up to build stuff. That's why we became developers in the first place. All right. But what I want to tell you today is that basically a little bit of marketing can go a long way. And I'm going to show you how. Okay. So if you're not familiar with me, so I'm Gregory. I created this thing called DAP University to help uh, programmers learn how to build blockchain technology, right? If you've ever like Googled on how to use Web3.js or something like that, you might have seen some of my videos pop up. Um, so DAP University basically is a result of me focusing on marketing and trying to get better at it, right? And I've done that by trying to help other people and it's provided a lot of opportunities, right? So you can see I still suck as a graphic designer. <laughs> uh, not getting much better at that, don't necessarily plan to, but I am focusing on you know, trying to get better at marketing. So what has marketing done for me? Well, it's helped me to earn more. I've been able to, you know, get better freelancing deals. I've been able to open up product revenue, something I've never been able to crack really in the past without focusing exclusively on marketing. Um, you know, it's been able to give authority and influence in places where people wouldn't normally listen to me and open up the doors for conversations um, that I would not have been able to have if I hadn't, you know, just been exposed uh, to other people. And it's also helped me make new friends. So I've developed a lot of good relationships with people, uh, by having online conversations that have started through, you know, running DAP University. So those are the kinds of things that it's helped me do. And uh, those are the kinds of things that it can help you do too as well, all right? So how, how can you do that? Well, you basically want to create a system that's going to get you the results that you want. And you don't have to do exactly what I did, right? You don't have to go out there and create a bazillion YouTube videos. You don't have to like, you know, do this crazy strategy. Uh, even just a little bit can help. And that's what I really want to emphasize and help you break down, like, and give you some tools and techniques and some strategies uh, about things that you can do to get some results that, you know, are better than what you have now. Going back to those questions I mentioned earlier, which is like how to earn more, how to you know get people to listen to you, and how to also you know make more friends. Okay, so uh, these tools, techniques, and strategies are, are, are designed to help you build a system um, that's going to give you power and leverage. All right, and I mean power, not like oh I'm a tyrant, <laughs> and not leverage like oh, I'm a ruthless negotiator, but Think about it this way. It's going to give you a system that's going to allow you to get more out of what you put in. It's a tool. It's a lever. All right. So what? let's look at some basic diagnostic questions for you, right? What are some ways that you can uh, make more money, all right? So do you work a job? Are you a freelancer? Uh, do you own a product or want to build a product or want to run a business, all right? Well, marketing can definitely help you and the tools and techniques and strategies that I'm going to talk about today um, can definitely help you maximize these opportunities. You can get a better job. You can, you know, increase your freelancing. So if you want authority and influence, right? 
who wants to shape the direction of blockchain? <laughs> Me, I do, right? I'm sure lots of you watching this do too, right? So if you have a voice, you have a marketing message out there, it's way more likely that you're going to have a say in the direction that blockchain is headed, all right? So also, if you're a programmer and you simply just want to be recognized for your, uh, you know, your competence and recognized for, you know, your mastery, like having marketing out there will help you gain that kind of respect, right? And also, if you want to make new friends, if you want to find more people in the crypto space who like the same things that you do, marketing can help do this, all right? So these tools and techniques and strategies can help you do all these things. So let's just kind of jump into those. So what if you just want a job? What if that's like your main goal, right? So I'm gonna try to fix this slide here. All right, so if you just want a job, the goal in marketing for your job search is basically to pre-qualify you before you even interview at a job, all right? So whenever you go to interview, you basically have a very small amount of time to talk to this potential employer and convince them that you are uh, capable of the job, basically that you're competent, reliable, and that you're honest, and also that they like you, right? That you're a good culture fit, that you speak their language and you're nice. So you don't necessarily want to be answering all those questions inside of a job interview. You want to be answering those before you get there. And that's what marketing can do. So if you invest zero time in marketing, you have to do all that in this really small amount of time. And if you invest more time into it, uh, that will be done before you even get to the job. You may not even have to do an interview and they may just offer it to you over an email. All right. So let's talk about some strategies for doing that. Well, I want to start with two dead simple strategies that basically need no explanation, right? You can just do these things and you'll basically have a job guaranteed. All right, the first one I think is the best one. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you think that there's a better way than this. Uh, this one I think is the fastest, biggest bang for your buck, least amount of effort, uh, least amount of time scale. Win a hackathon. <laughs> if you win a hackathon in a blockchain, uh, you know, event, there's gonna be employers there, they're gonna offer you jobs, they're already gonna have, you know, seen the kind of person that you are, how you relate to them, what your skills are, you've pre-qualified yourself for the job, you've already got it, basically. The other way is to basically have a friend at a blockchain company who's gonna recommend you for the job, all right? That's gonna be a way that someone's gonna be your biggest evangelist before, you know, you go to the job interview. You've, you've been pre-qualified, you've been pre-sold by this person. At least gonna know that they're gonna like you. Now, you may have to do some technical interviews or something like that, but um, it's a really good way to get started, right? So, what if you can't do that? What if you don't, you can't win a hackathon and you don't know anybody in blockchain? Well, I'm gonna give you another strategy that you, where you can pre-qualify yourself. I call this the bulldog strategy, right? So, now, I know that's not a bulldog on there. <laughs> Uh, but the bulldog strategy is short term. Um, it's like a flurry of activity, but it's very effective. All right. And it basically goes like this. You build a project in the exact technology that you want to work in. You document the entire thing online. You open source the code on GitHub. You go to a bunch of meetups and conferences. You really hustle and you apply for as many jobs as possible. All right. So let's break it down. If you build a project, um, that's going to show that you're competent. You can do this at a hackathon, so you could be even pursuing, you know, that first strategy. And if you don't win, you can just continue on with this. Uh, and you've got the code. Open source it. Create documentation about it. Not necessarily like technical documentation, but just talk about what you did, right? Create some screencasts. Uh, you know, create some tweet storms. Could be Reddit. You could put it on Product Hunt, right? You'd be surprised how much attention this could actually get if it's a really cool idea, all right? So next, you want to try to get the best deal possible, and that's how you do it. Basically, you go to a bunch of these meetups, conferences, events, um, and talk to as many people. Sometimes people are there, and they'll just be you know, going around the room, and people say, who's hiring? And people raise their hands, and that's a way for you to talk to people, right? Uh, and, but the goal is basically to get you know, as many leads as possible so you can see what your options are, right? If your goal is to get a dream job, uh, If your goal is to get a dream job, that's the way to do it, all right? So now, okay, this is the bulldog strategy. It's a very like big flurry of activity, and that's the way for you to get a job as fast as possible. But what if that's not your goal? What if you're trying to create more long-term opportunity, right? What if you want to be a freelancer, um, right? You want to build a product, anything like that. Here's another way. So the other way is basically to get famous, <laughs> right? And there's a few different ways to do this. Uh, here's a shortcut. 
Shortcut is to do something epic, right? Basically solve something in blockchain that hasn't been solved before or create the new best way to do something, right? And then basically just post about it on Reddit uh, and Twitter and sit back and let your work speak for themselves like once the experts have been notified. It, it will, yeah, it's a self-explanatory strategy, right? So what if you can't do that? Well, another way is to build an audience, right? You want to create a, a group of people who are watching you do something, who are listening to you um, for a good reason, right? So you want to think about yourself kind of like a developer slash influencer. <laughs> so not an influencer like this. <laughs> Uh, and you don't even have to be an influencer like this either. But you essentially just want to create a group of people who are watching you do something, right? So how do you do this? Well, you basically give them a reason. Uh, you want to create a resource, something that they get value out of, right? And this should be for free and something that actually helps them, right? You want to be in a, in a community where you're giving more than you take, right? And you want to be consistent. They need to know this resource is always there uh, whenever they decide to come back to it, right? And they're always going to, like, come and be fed by this resource, right? And where can this audience live? Live on Twitter, uh, YouTube, podcast, GitHub, Telegram, email, so what are some ideas for like, you know, value that you can give back to an audience? Well, you can give them news. Um, you can share your own ideas, right? If you have really big ideas about where crypto is headed or where blockchain is headed, uh, what this tech is going to do, what that tech is going to do, and you actually have a good perspective, like that's a way for you to do that, right? Um, if you have a project that you're working on that's very interesting, you can just talk about that project consistently. Or maybe you work on different projects. You know, talk about that, document it. And it doesn't have to be like this crazy thorough thing. Um, as long as just some sort of update that people oh, go, oh, wow, that's interesting. And he's that guy who always talks about this. I'm going to come back and listen to him, right? So another way is to teach people how to do stuff. So if you, you know, have a tutorial on like, you know, something, right? Or maybe you're working on a project and you got through a breakthrough, right? And you do this a lot. You're always like, you know, an explorer in blockchain and figure out how to use this tech and use that tech. Once you figure it out, document it and let other people know. It doesn't have to take all day, but you can just give it, uh, give back value in a way that people will find this attractive, right? And just do this consistently. So at the end of the day, people need to be able to interact with you. They need to be able to contact you, uh, ask you questions, and this is where the opportunities really come, all right? So it's, you know, email, Twitter, Telegram, whatever it is, people need to be able to reach out to you, all right? But yeah, basically people need to be able to reach out to you because that's where the opportunities come up, right? In conversations, right? Over email, over Telegram, over Twitter, whatever it is, right? So if you're going to build an audience, like I said, you need to be really consistent. And this is going to be helped a lot by you setting a quota, all right, so let's let's just give a really basic example. Something that's not super crazy. Like I said, I don't want you to leave this video thinking that like, oh my gosh, I have to spend like, you know, 30% of my time like creating content to maintain an audience. You don't have to do that. You can if you want big results. But like I said, even just a little bit will go a long way. So let's look at a basic example. You know, you could just decide after today that you're going to get on Twitter and, you know, talk about blank once a day for five days, right? And you don't even have to like do this every day in the moment. You can schedule these things in advance. You can pre-write some tweets about what you're doing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? That's a pretty easy way to get started, right? You don't have to <laughs> set this epic quota, but you wanna have a quota. You wanna say, I'm gonna do X amount per X time and stick to it, be consistent. And over time, you probably be surprised at the kinds of uh, things that, this will yield, like the kinds of opportunities this, this will yield. So I challenge you to try it. If you don't believe me, uh, just try it and see what happens. So let's go back to, you know, why you want to do an audience in the first place, all right? So this is really good for freelancers, people who want to find the best job possible, people who want to influence the direction of blockchain, uh, people who want to launch a product, and also people who want to make more friends and connections and relationships in blockchain, right? So let's look at the kinds of uh, long-term opportunities that this provides. And that's the emphasis. This is a long-term strategy. This is different from the initial sort of bulldog strategy that I mentioned um, where you're trying to just like get some short-term results. This is definitely for more long-term uh, opportunities. So one of the first things it does is it creates deal flow. All right, so whenever you're 
this whole, whole idea is that you're sowing seeds into a community. You're giving more than you take. All right, you're sowing seeds, and opportunities are coming out of that. So that can look like deals, essentially. All right. So whenever you get these deals, the more you have, the more that you can filter through them and find the best ones. Right. So and if you have a steady flow of these, you have a predictable way to know that more deals are probably going to come down the road, right? And it gives you a little more of a known you know, future. So if you're a freelancer, this is huge, right? If you're always having people ask you for work rather than you know, you're going out there and trying to find it, you're able to basically cherry pick the stuff that you want to do and only pick the highest paying stuff or you know, whatever it is, right? Um, so another way is that this flips the leverage. So essentially, you know, it's easier to get paid what you want or find the kind of job that you want if people are asking you to work for them. So another thing this does is it flips the leverage, right? So if you want to get the best job possible or people are reaching out to you for freelancing gigs, uh, it's a lot different situation when people are asking you to work for them rather than you going out to get the job in the first place, right? Uh, whenever that's happening, People are chasing you. You're not chasing them. And you're much more likely to be able to get, you know, paid what you want to or just find the best opportunity, right? If you get the deal flow, you're able to sort turn down the things you don't want and find the stuff you actually do want. That's a way better situation to be in than like going out and trying to find something, right? So that's kind of what this does over time is it creates, you know, opportunities over the long term. And then, you know, like one in X number are going to be things that you really want to do, right? So... Another thing that it does is it uh, gives you influence, right? So if you're a true expert and you're out there you know, talking about what you know and helping other people, uh, you're going to be recognized for the expertise, right? So if you want to be that guy on Twitter that people listen to and take seriously and can help influence the direction of things go, if you've got a blog that's always talking about the specific topic that you have perfect expertise over, uh, then that's going to be a massive help for you, okay? So... Another thing I want to say is, and this is not on the slide, I don't think, but if you want to build a product, uh, this is a strategy that can really help you. So a lot of people build products the wrong way. I've done this myself. Basically, you spend all this time building a product, and you say, okay, it's time to release this. And you go put it out there, and you just hope people will get it, right? You throw it on product hunt or something, and just, oh my gosh, people are going to start flocking to it, right? Probably won't work. <laughs> it's, it hasn't worked for me in the past. Uh, it has really failed miserably. And I imagine that other people watching this uh, who have tried to do the same thing. So if you focus on marketing first, you have the ability to create the product for your audience, right? And you're actually able to dialogue with your audience to find out what's the product they actually want, create it for them, and then get their input while you're making the product. And then when it's finished, you have customers already lined up that you can just plug right into your product and get it going, right? So if you focus on marketing first before you do that, and that's the whole emphasis is focusing on marketing first before you do these other things, right? And if you do that, way bigger chance that you're actually going to get a result out of your product that you want, okay? So going back to the last thing on the slide is making your friends, right? If you're that guy that's always on Twitter, you know, like talking about blank giving more than you take, engaging with people on Twitter. <laughs> so many uh, opportunities that have come out of that to, to connect with people who like the same kinds of things that you do and who doesn't want to be friends with somebody who basically helps them, right? Who gives them good things before uh, they ask for anything in return, right? You know, your goal really is to attract people. And I'll say this with a caveat, like don't view the people as like leads to be vetted like it generally is about friendships right that's what i'm talking about not just like connections right like people are going to do more things for their friends and help each other than they will just for like connections all right so that's pretty much all i got um if you have questions about this leave questions down in the comment section below um as always be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below and if you want to learn how to become a highly paid blockchain developer, you need to join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. I'll also talk a little bit more about how to market yourself uh, in that free training. All right. So uh, thanks for watching this video. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.